how's it going um my heart's a little bit heavy at the moment i just needed to get this off my chest before i get on with the rest of my day so a good friend of mine reminded me of something that i really I, I i've even brought up before and i really should have remembered something about the targeting the first thing that i remembered or that i was reminded of was it doesn't matter whether oh, kind of wish it did now it doesn't matter whether i leave a flat or not Once I've been somewhere, that becomes a permanent setup for other TIs. It becomes a permanent setup for radiation. It becomes a permanent setup for electronic attacks. So whether people get rid of me or not, doesn't matter. I wish it did, honestly. Then it would make everything that I'm going through worth it. The second thing is, is that, do you remember when I told you guys that when you are tortured, even though the person operating the machinery doesn't get tortured, they get 100% of the radiation, whereas somebody like you would only get 50, right? Even though you'd get most of the pain, you'd get most of it because the weapons are targeted at you, so you'd be the one getting most of the pain, right? But when it comes to the radiation, I don't get most of it. Especially if there are any attacks coming from the front. Now, where my bedroom is situated is at the front of the building. And if I'm not feeling it as in, if I'm not feeling to the torture as intensely here as I am in my bedroom, then the chances are is that where the torture is actually coming from is coming from the front so on the way over to me if i slept in my bedroom tonight and woke up in the morning then the nail bar it, it actually it doesn't matter whether i'm in my bedroom or not the people in the nail bar get irradiated first before i get hit so Whoever is operating the machinery gets most of the radiation. Then it filters down to the nail bar and the restaurant or whoever's or you know whoever's next door to me. And then it comes to me. It doesn't come straight to me. So whilst this is happening to me, there are God knows how many people getting sick. And that shit doesn't even end after I leave. <laughs> the amount of people that have betrayed me. The amount of people that have sold me out and there was no point to it at all. Because once I'm there and even my death doesn't matter. Even my death doesn't matter. Remember, this is a permanent setup. Even my death doesn't count. Because the thing is, I could die tomorrow in this flat and it would be a permanent setup. Permanent. It does not matter. It does not matter. The, the, there is good, these people are going to be getting sick. Their children are going to be getting sick. This is generational. This is never going to stop. It doesn't matter what I do. It doesn't matter what happens to me. This isn't going to stop. And I don't want this. This is exactly... This is exactly... What I was trying to fucking avoid this whole time. I didn't want this. I didn't want this. So even if I'm out here in the bed, uh, even if I'm out here in the bedroom, the only thing that happens is that I go through less pain in the bedroom. That's the only thing that happens. I don't actually protect anybody. Fuck. I've wasted so much of my life. 
hoping that this would stop. Or at least hoping that if it happened to me, then nobody else would get hurt. But no, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what I do. Other people are going to get hurt. And then because, you know, because the gang stalkers know who to lean on, then they know how to lean. They know to lean on ignorant people who are going to fucking judge me as the enemy. They know they're going to do that. So. And this whole petty thing of, oh, it's, it's, it's Fabian's fault. It's Fabian's fault. Like. Even knowing that people might blame me and blame me wrongly for this, it just feels so petty now. It feels so, it just feels so small. It feels small. This is shit. I mean, I'm grateful that, you know, there's a part of me that's resilient and, and can push through illness and you know, to do what she has to do and to fight. And I'm grateful for my resilience. I'm really grateful for it. And I'm grateful for the fact that I'm slow as well. It means I get things done properly. But I just wish it didn't have to happen to people. It just... But there's nothing I can do. People are just going to have to carry on doing what they do. And I'm going to have to carry on doing what I do. Now, baby, y'all got a video. I got a video to upload, mate. Supposed to upload that new moon video like ages ago. Oh, you see, this is what I was talking about in my reading. I read for Sagittarius. I'm a Sag moon. This is what I'm talking about. I can't be a cheerleader for other people anymore. In fact, I was never supposed to do that. Focus on me. That's all I can do. But this is heartbreaking. So all these people going through pain, all these TIs going through pain, going through the most agony, going through the most shit, going through going through all this crap for absolutely nothing. Nothing at all. Because it's not saving anybody, it's killing everyone. Anyway. I've got a video up to upload. I love you guys. Take care. Bye.